going live in just a bit. Welcome everyone. I don't know why it's not going live. You should see it here. All right, perfect. Welcome everybody to the How to Buy and Sell Your Cars YouTube channel. Firstly, where is everybody from? If you could type in the chat really quickly where you're in, where you're coming from. Uh, if this is your first time watching, second time, third time, we got Maya with gum all over her lips right now and it's kind of funny. Just type in the chat really quickly so I can read some names out. Nicholas says, what's good? We got Ryan says, hey, Catherine, what's going on, everybody? Thank you guys for getting on tonight. Philadelphia in the house. Man, I hear some Rocky. Is Rocco in the house there? Rocco, we got Rocco. Yo, Rocco! <laughs> Rocco! Yo, Rocco! We got Austin, Texas, LA, Alabama, Canada. What else? Somebody just said Mia for Maya. Somebody called your name. We got, we got uh, Wisconsin, <laughs> Tennessee, Montana. Uh, cool, cool, cool. So as we, as we go on, more and more people are going to get on tonight, um, which is usually the case. First time, but love your videos. Thank you, Mr. Harrow. I don't know how to pronounce that. H-A-R-J-O-T. How do you? Harold. 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 We got Chris from Miss, from Miami in the house. Awesome. Well, tonight we are going to be talking about, she said cute kid. He said, Chris said cute kid. So say hi quickly. Hi. hi. What kind of gum are you eating? Um, grape. Grape gum. Grape gum is delicious. It's so, the purple one. So I got my nephew in the house tonight. He's over here. We got him. We got him. We're going to be grilling him. He's sitting down on the stool. We're going to grill him tonight. And he's going to talk about his flip really quickly. He just did a flip. Uh, pretty crazy story. You know, he started off in Dallas and then actually he took a road trip to New York, where he's from originally, from New York. We got a New Yorker in the house. He said, Sup, nephew. Nephew's name is, what's nephew's name? Julian. 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 Jules. Got Jules. Jules in the house. Call me Jules. Yeah. So he did a car flip. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen our video a couple of months ago. We, uh, that fan looks kind of sketchy. Don't worry about the fan. It's just a shadow. Or maybe it's not. <laughs> above you. Above you right here. It's like that. that fan looks a little sketchy. <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> Julian's right under it, perfectly. <laughs> you see me pass out in the back, just <laughs> ego. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ceiling fan. <laughs> um, so he picked up a 2000 GTI, like maybe four months ago, um, just to get around in. He needed a good deal. Uh, so he, he found the good deal. He picked it up, and he decided he didn't need it anymore. So he just recently sold it. And uh, what did you do to it, Jules? Tell, tell him the story right here, quickly. You get up in front of the camera and just shoot your stuff, you know? How y'all doing? Um, so when buying a car, I was looking for a, a good deal, of course. And um, when I got, it was a 2000 VW GTI VR6. I was looking for a VR6 in the first place. Actually, just more of a GTI. Because you like, you like GTIs and well, stuff? Well, yeah, I, I've always had a... I've always had a knack for V dubs, and okay. I've always wanted to get into that just yeah, yeah, that yeah. brand. Cool, know? cool. And so uh, when I I found this, I located the car. Um, he was he was asking him about two thousand four. Where'd you find it? Like Craigslist? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, of course, they they always have apps out there that you could really locate cars on these days. But I always just stick with Craigslist. I don't know about other people, but I normally just stick with the basics, and yeah. you know, it's just. It's one of those good locators for finding cars and yeah, meeting yeah. people, of course. Yeah. And so I um, <clears throat> found the car. I was interested in purchasing it. And then when it came down to negotiating, that's probably the biggest deal. And negotiating can <laughs> get you a 2,000 car for 2,000 or it could get you a 2,000 car for 1,500. So, I mean, it's, it's either really depends on how you negotiate. Right. 
And so, um, so I actually negotiated a good deal with him. I picked it up 15. Um, when I got down in Dallas, of course, I had to head up to New York. You know, that's where I was living. And so when going up to New York, I just decided not to keep it. So uh, I put a little bit of money into it, you know, just minor cosmetics. That's really what it all is. Uh, when like, so, what did you do? What did you do? Like, you painted the rims or? Oh, uh, yeah, actually. So when I got the car, the rims were paint, spray painted black. It's kind of ugly, but I said it was a good deal anyway, so I just went with buying the car. Um, when I was selling the car, I realized that it would have a, a less chance of somebody buying it with the black rims. So what I did is I just went over AutoZone, picked up a couple of spray paint cans of silver, and just taped all around the tire and just went to town. So Chris is saying, how many miles did it have when you bought it? All right, so when I bought it, it had 124,000 miles. Now, I put about... About four to five thousand miles, not four to five thousand, but when I sold the car, it had a hundred twenty-seven, hundred twenty-seven fifty, I think, thousand miles. So you put like thirty-five hundred miles. Yeah, on. yeah. I put, I put, it, I mean, going up from uh, Dallas to New York, that put a good chunk of miles on my car. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, and even driving around in New York, because I mean, it's. It's Were not, people looking at you different because you had Texas uh, plates oh, on it? Come on, like, what, <laughs> kind of, what kind of yeah. what kind of response are you getting? <laughs> Seriously, like Dude, I want to know. Like I mean, it's funny because going up from like Arkansas, I mean, going from Dallas and going through like Arkansas and going through all these different places, driving up, I I stopped to meet some people and they're like, "You're coming all the way up from Texas?" I'm like, "Yeah, <laughs> it's a long trip." <laughs> It's a long trip. It's a long story. I just have to get to where I'm going, and just and I'm of course going into New York. I had a lot of questions of people saying, "Oh, you from Texas? That's that's not weird at all." And I was just like, "No, nah, I just brought my car up. You know, it was a good deal. If you have to go all the way down to Texas to get a good deal, then that's what you gotta do." <laughs> you know? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> so um. So you I, detailed it. You you made you made it look really clean. Like one of the things we were talking about before we got on tonight was Julian told me when the when he sold it, the guy was like, wow, you kept this car really clean yeah, for a 2000. Yeah, yeah. So well, tell him what you course, did. Of course, when I sold it, um, looks go all the way every single time. And I don't know if uh, some of you have bought and sold cars, but when you buy, buy a car, when I actually bought the GTI, it was – wasn't in the best condition, but I, I saw potential in it. Of course, like every it, single car. It needed car. TLC. Exactly. Right. Exactly. And he and gave it that TLC. Just enough for somebody to put a better price on what I bought it for. Right. And so when I just polished it up, made the tires look good. Uh, of course, even the tires, you know, you take arm. Uh, armor all. Yeah, yeah, armor yeah. All, And then you just wipe them down and makes it look. I have to say, it made the tires. Even coming from Dallas all the way up to New York. Uh, the tires still were in great condition, and just putting just the bit of armor roll all over the tires makes the biggest difference and makes them look nice, shiny. And when somebody was asking, "Oh, are these new tires?" I was like, "Actually, those were came with the car, and they're still in great condition." And the guy was mentioning, you know, I have to say, you know, for being 15, 16 years old, you really made it look like it's in great condition. Cool, and I was, cool. You know, just him saying that to me. <laughs> I didn't even feel more proud of myself. And, and, you know, that's what they say. Your, your first impression is the last impression. So yeah. when somebody looks at the car, that first impression, even, you know, most times if people are serious, they're buying a car, they'll come with the cash and they'll buy it that day. But sometimes you'll get people who just, does, you know, they don't have the money or they really want it. They want to come back and get it. That first impression, that's going to leave a mark in their head and they're really going to want the car and they're going to follow through on the deal. You know, so it's really important to have the thing looking as nice as you can before selling it. I mean, think of when you go to dealers and you go to car, you know, car lots, they, the cars are pretty much mostly detailed and looking good, right? So that's what Julian did. So these guys are asking, uh, Ryan says, wow, 1500 bucks is a great deal. Uh, Harold says, was it an automatic or manual? And Nicholas says, do you have pictures of the car? You got pictures of the car on your iPhone um, or on your phone? I actually, any, I any do, picture? I do have pictures of the car. So he's he's gonna dig up some pictures. Um, it <clears> was <throat> actually it was a rare green GTI, and uh, when seeing the color of this car, I mean, of course my my parents weren't thrilled about the color. You know, family <laughs> friends weren't thrilled about the color, but I saw this color and I was actually blown away, and therefore you, you like the color. I like the color. <laughs> <laughs> it was like an apple green. And yeah. guys, if if 
if he's going to pull out some pictures, but we actually did a YouTube live on that car a few months ago when he first got it. We actually put it on the lift over here that you see the BMW on. His car, his GTI, was the first car ever on this lift here. We kind of tested it out. So if you go to my auto body channel, you can kind of see that car that we did if you really want to. But uh, he's trying to dig up some pictures. But, you know, he used it. He bought it. He needed a car here in Dallas. He used it for a couple of months. He had to go do some family stuff in New York. He went to New York, and he actually sold it in New York. So I want him to talk to you about that as well, the, the actual. All right, so here's a picture of the car. It's a little laggy, so, yeah, yeah. you know. You know so it, um, it was a very nice car, clean car. Of course, he had um, a couple of stickers on it that I wanted to take off. Um, hold on. Yeah, it, it, it kind of showed. Yeah, it kind of showed. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I, of course, there were some minor details that I wanted to do. Uh, take something like the sun uh, visor off, and um, I mean the sun uh, protector okay. off, and everything like that. Like, what do you mean? What sun protector? Um, so there's right here. There was a protector, and also a window protectors, shields. I should yeah, say. yeah, yeah. You took them off. Yeah, I took those off. Because they were ugly. Yeah, yeah. They, they were all just, faded looking. They, yeah, not only that, but when I took them off, it, it just looked like a nice, better set, well car. You know, yeah. it was just it had more attraction to it. Yeah, yeah. And he had stickers all up and down it. So oh I just, man, you took it, them all off. Oh, of course. What'd you use to take it off? Like uh, my fingers. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't use like a razor blade or some solution or uh, something. I didn't want to scratch the paint, so I really just I took um. I think I took a piece of plastic, not not like a Hard not a, yeah yeah not a strong piece at all, and I just tried to scrape it as much as I could. It was unfortunate because that that stuff was really on there. And it took, I'm not even joking. That took me a while. Oh man. But yeah, and even the tires because it was spray painted, it was yeah. it was a pain. Let me tell you. And I tried Damn. to get the paint off, and it was just giving me the hardest time. But you know, you gotta keep going. Yeah yeah yeah. So it looks like we froze a little bit, but we're still on. All right. Uh, so how was it? Tell them about, tell them about selling it in New York with the title. Like, did the guy have an issue like buying a, a Texas titled car, or how you know, was that? Was he concerned at all, or not really? Well, I think everybody is always really concerned about buying an expensive product. You right. know, that's and so even such a small detail, such as like the title, it can always come up as like a cause of issue in somebody's mind. Yeah. And so, really, what I mean. There should really never be any issues when buying a car from another state and then bringing it to, say, California, New yeah, York, yeah, yeah, wherever yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. and registering it. You know, people buy stuff off Craigslist, you yeah. know, even if it was in eBay. Yeah. You know, it's like your car came from uh, Japan, yeah. you know. Yeah. You should really have no problems registering it at all. Yeah, yeah. And so when it's just coming from down from Dallas, it's no different as if no you're different. buying it from was New the York. Guy, was, did the guy ask you questions? Was he concerned at all or not? Well, yeah, of course he was yeah. concerned, you know. But you just say no big deal. No, there should really be no big deal. Now, yeah. of course, you always got to be kind, you know. Uh, if you ever need some help, if there's any issues that you're uh, coming across when it comes to registering the car, call. just keep me posted. Yeah. And, and he, I'll do the best that I can to help And he out. never called you back. Uh, no. So obviously everything was okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So uh, you got it for 1500 Correct. And you sold it for how much? I sold it for twenty two. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. sold so it for twenty two. Yeah, I, of course I put a little bit of money into it because you know just yeah. touch ups, um, making the car clean, wax, wax. Oh, let me tell Plus, you. I mean, you wax. used it for four months, four or five oh, months, geez. and you got and you made money on it. Yeah, so, exactly. Exactly. I mean, that's you're not losing anything no, on it, right? Yeah, you know. Yeah. So and cool. I mean, I made a little bit of money on top of it. Brought me from. Dallas to New York, it kept me yeah. a little bit of uh, You had like wheels down there. Exactly. Cool. You know? And I mean, cruising in style, you can't beat a GTI 2000 yeah, yeah. R6. Come awesome, on, awesome. It's like a nice tune-up car too. <laughs> <laughs> so do you guys have any more questions for Jules here? Are you guys good? Yeah, that's a good flip story, man. Good deal, good deal. Awesome. So yeah, if you guys got any questions, just let us know really quickly. If not, uh, yeah, so Harold's Harold says, was it an automatic or manual? It was a yeah, manual. Yeah, it was a manual. It was a manual. It was a, it was a five speed, right? Yeah, correct. correct. Five speed GTI, correct. Six cylinder. Uh, still flipping. So, are you going to flip another deal after this? Uh, or? Yeah, of course I'm going to yeah, flip another yeah. deal. <laughs> you got to make that money. Come on. You yeah, know? yeah. So, he's, it, it's, if you really have the negotiating down and you have the business in your blood. Keep flipping and don't let it stop. Yeah, so Catherine is says is Julian single. 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> Just want to ask you if you ever traded a car. Have you ever traded a car for another? You know, actually, there was a couple of people who asked me to trade my car for theirs. And, I mean, it really depends on the car, you know, because if you actually find a car, you know, even if it has a couple of smaller issues, trading a car could be also beneficial because if you see more potential in the other car <clears throat> rather than your own car, yeah. then, you know, you could put a little bit more into that car and then flip that car, yeah. you know. And, I mean, yeah. it really yeah. – yeah. I didn't – I really never flipped any cars just yeah. yet. Yeah. But uh, would I? I? Yeah, I would definitely flip cars. Yeah. I mean, uh, trade cars. So, so on that topic, I actually traded. I did one trade deal so far, and it was my '67 Camaro. I was trying to sell it um, for like I don't know, 18 grand or 20 grand. Bro, I don't know why you traded. But the guy really wanted it. He couldn't pay me in full, so he gave me his 2000 Dodge Ram and $9,000 cash. And I knew that Dodge Ram I, I could easily sell for like eight, nine grand. This is back in 2000. No, 2005. 2005. So the truck that he gave me was five years old. So I ended up flipping that. It was a basic Dodge Ram, single cab, you know. So he gave me 9,000 bucks and his truck. He came with a trailer, picked up my 67 Camaro, and I ended up just selling the truck because he just couldn't come up with the money. So that's what happened there. So that's the only trade I actually ever did was with that classic. Yeah, I can't believe you let that go, dude. Yeah, that, do you remember that car? Yeah, I remember that car. That, that thing was beautiful. busted out like hell. Dude, that thing was beautiful. <laughs> okay, how long did it take for that GTI to sell after you posted it? Um, about a week about and a, week. a half. Week and a half. That's yeah. not bad at all. Well, I mean, I was, I wanted to sell it right away and I was thinking, well, I mean, of course, what's the best way to sell it right away? And now I was just posting on Craigslist every single day, literally every morning, just wake up around 10 o'clock because there's also, um, times where people go on Craigslist the most, say around 10 before work or even just in the beginning of work and then around five late at night when they get home or even if they're ending work just before. Um, and so I tried to wake up every single morning, post it on Craigslist at 10 o'clock for about a week and a half and then after that, um, it was gone. Cool, that's awesome. Now did you, did you start at a higher price point and then go down? Like did you list, start listing it at $3,000? Uh, no, no, no. I mean, you can say like, what did you do? Did you just list it for twenty five and you got twenty two for it? Yeah, or? yeah. So I listed it at um, twenty four ninety. Okay. And so when you put, it, say, uh, somebody goes onto Craigslist and wants to find something for twenty five hundred, and so the reason why I put twenty four ninety is because it's like the closest thing to twenty five hundred. Yeah. But it looks, I it mean, looks just cheaper. just ten dollars off. Yeah. You know, makes it look so much cheaper. And so um, I always say that I'm negotiable, which I am, and you should always put OBO because. Absolutely. Now, OBO, your best offer can really make it you negotiate. Look negotiable. Exactly. Look negotiable to where you're getting a good price, but then also you could also um, be getting a better price. So say you're about to sell a car and you say OBO and you want to sell it for $25. Um, somebody offers you $22 and then you say, all right, let me keep $22 in my mind. And then somebody, always, somebody else comes along and you say, well, somebody already offered me $22 and then somebody offers you $24. And then you keep that in your mind. And then somebody else comes along and says, well, somebody already offered me 24. And then somebody also offers you, say, 25, you know, your exact price that you were looking for. But then OBO, of course, can always say somebody offers you 26. It could go even higher than your price you were looking for. So OBO always has its, uh, it has its best features, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's positive side to it. Yeah. Um, and, you know... You could always make up your own competitor. Like sometimes I used to, I used to always say, well, let me know quick because I got somebody else interested. They offered me this. But in reality, nobody was there. Yeah. I'm just, you're just, you got to play the game. You got to get people interested and take action right away and to sell it. Sometimes you got to do that. Say, hey, listen, I got some guy. Make up your mind quick, you know. Just give me this much for it. Give me twenty five hundred. It's that's yours. That's exactly what I did. <laughs> so see, so you make up competitors, yeah. and this is the stuff that I talk about in yeah. my course as well. There's a lot of little tactics and tricks that you could use 
to, to negotiate and sell cars. So that's pretty cool. Um, so Tony says Catherine looks pretty hot. I don't know. Maybe he checked her Google profile or whatever. I don't know. He's playing around. Uh, I don't know. She's the one who asked if some, if you're single. Mm. So <laughs> what, what's, what's going on, Rich? So how long are we on so far? I don't even know. 23 minutes. What's going on, Rich? 27 people on the call. So uh, so J Jet Cube says, is it more expensive when you're buying the car that's registered under another state? I mean, it all depends. Uh, I don't I mean, it all depends. You yeah. can find good deals in every state. You know, it's yeah. it's negotiating. That's it's really negotiating. All, yeah, it all comes down to negotiating. What's up, Jose? Jose, is this Jose Kyle on the line? Is that you, Jose Kyle? I don't know. I'm just asking. May not. How much would you list a automatic Honda Accord? Uh, Two thousand five hundred, four thousand miles, good condition. Did you did you check the blue book? I would check the blue book to get an idea. I don't know offhand unless I go online right now. <laughs> hey, what's up, Jose? Good to see you on tonight. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I never even for uh, Chris Pulse uh, Pulser. Pul Pulser. Nah, I haven't even gotten the package. I mean, family comes last, I guess. In this family, man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I ain't getting God. no discounts or no, nothing, no. man. <laughs> it's, it's in the blood, so he it's already in the blood. <laughs> it comes <laughs> naturally, of course it is. <laughs> you don't need to. You don't need to buy the VIP to understand it. <laughs> do you do you think about buying and selling cars with a bonded title? Nah, we don't get into that. No. Nah. Or getting a bonded title for a car that has lost title. Nah. Is it a sedan or coupe? It was a sedan, Victor. You guys changed my life in Africa. Cool. Where in Africa? Where are you? Zimbabwe or what was the Kelly Blue Book? Do you know what the Kelly Blue Book off offhand was for that? I uh, have no idea. <laughs> 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 See guys, guys, you don't even have to know much about it. It's just getting a good deal and selling it. He didn't even. He doesn't even know what the hell the Kelly Blue Book was. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> and he made seven hundred dollars on the deal. Come on. Well, maybe a little less because he had to buy some spray paint. <laughs> you're so funny, dude. Like, oh, I don't even know what the Kelly Blue Book was. The Jungle. Nicholas says. Damn, go Catherine. Okay, whatever. Uh, what's the name of the page? Kellybluebook.com. KBB.com, guys. Noise. Tony, you really need to look at the fan above your head. I think you need to buy a new one with the extra cash from flipping cars. Now, it's been like that for, for over a year now. I think it's fine. It's, it, it's, it's, it's pivoting on the little uh, the ball up there. It ain't going anywhere. <laughs> you know what happened was I, I had a ladder. I was doing something with a ladder in here, and I hit it with the ladder. So I think one of the blades are bent. So if I just adjust the blade, it'll it'll do all right. But uh, or maybe tightening it. No, the blade is tweaked. <laughs> the blade's tweaked up there. That's why. That side I had to take out because if you lift the car all the way up, yeah, it was it hit. Yeah. So I just took that one down. Man, this thing is. <clears throat> Yeah, I just painted the whole front. You remember, right? Yeah. Yeah. I did the hood. I did the bumper because all of this was rock chip. Remember? I don't know if you remember. All yeah. this is all damaged. Yeah. That's just the bug I can buff out. But all this is all just bad. Bug. Yeah, bug flew in it. But that's minor, dude. All that stuff comes out. And I also, I also painted the quarter panel. I painted the quarter panel and trunk. Kind of like blended it. So... Yeah. I want to buy an S2000. Which year should I go for? I would go for 2002 because that's when they came out with the glass back in the convertible. Like, even this Miata here, this is a hard top, of course, but the convertible actually has a black, a glass rear window. And the 2000, 2001 has a plastic for the S2000, but once you got into 2002, they call it the AP2. Um, it came out with the, uh, the, 
you know, some better features with the, with the body kit on the front um, and the glass in the rear window for the convertible. So it's pretty cool. So I'm actually looking, I, I want to get an S2000. I'm actually looking for a 2002 and up, you know, with low miles. You know, when I buy and sell cars, I like to buy cars with low miles because that's like something, that's a very big selling feature when you have a car with low miles. Like this thing, it's a 2000, there's only 36,000 miles on it, like super low. And, you know, the value is only going to go up once it's put together and looking nice again. I just got to put the lights in it. Basically, a half a day I can have this thing done and on the ground. Not even. Three, four hours. But I just haven't had the time. I, I want to get that down soon um, so I can get my little Japanese mini truck going. That's going to be a cool project. So, so uh, let's see. Anyway. It was nice talking to everyone tonight. Uh, unfortunately, we got to go. Uh, we're going to be doing some hitting the club tonight, and we got some business to take care of. I'm only joking. But uh, <laughs> this I was is going to say, like, where's there a club in Dallas? <laughs> <laughs> so this is my nephew, Julian. Uh, I think he had a great time uh, talking to you guys tonight. Uh, let's see. I don't need paint my whole truck bed after doing Russell Paris. Awesome garage, Tony. Did your garage get bigger as you became more successful? Yeah, little by little. I have around 700 to flip a car. What do you recommend? I recommend finding a $400 beater. You'll find something that you can dress up and flip for 1000 to twelve to 1500 I mean, you gradually move up. Now Julian has 2200 bucks capital uh, to, to go out and do another flip, you know, and then maybe – Maybe the, ne the next flip he'll get $3,000, you know, and then, and then he'll have $3,000 capital <clears throat> to, to keep moving up the ladder. And as you do this, you can upgrade and get better and better cars. I mean, that's what I did, yeah. you know. Well, I am shooting towards <clears throat> that uh, Beamer right there. So, so he's shooting toward <laughs> a, a nice BMW. I wouldn't get that. Though. I would get a four-door. Or, uh, or no, at I least wouldn't get that because it's red. Yeah, he, he doesn't like red. <clears throat> but... uh. So what are you going to be when you get older? So what are you going to be when you get older is Maya's question to Julian here. Oh, man. That's a lot of pressure. On That's me. a great question. That man. is a great question. I'm just going to be a farmer. You're going to be a farmer? Dude, Maya wants a simple life. Maya's going to be a farmer when she gets older. How about, how about you be Maya? How is that? And no She's going to be farmer Maya. Yeah. No matter how selling my chicken out. eggs like I'm gonna have, <laughs> which I'm gonna do already. Yeah, you read Grant. I'm glad I'm here. I'm glad you're here tonight. <clears throat> so, anyway, we're gonna head out. I want to say thank you, everybody, for getting on tonight. My throat's kind of dry right now. <clears throat> Excuse me, but uh, I will see you on next week. To guy, for here's the actual URL to download the free manual if you're interested in that teach you how to flip cars for profit go to that site right there download it absolutely free be the farmer's wife that's the life <laughs> <laughs> be the farmer's wife that's the life <laughs> McAllen in the house where is McAllen do you know where McAllen is McAllen <clears throat> where Anyway, thank you guys for getting on tonight. Appreciate it. I know Julian had a good time telling his story about Dallas to New York, flipping his GTI here. Always. See you. Bye, Julian and Tony. Bye. Bye. Take care. Have a great night, everybody. Have Be a great safe. night. See you next week, same night. time. Keep smiling. Cheers. Ciao. Okay.